Hey guys, Abby here from 41more.com. I wanted to give you a quick sneak peek into our math choice for this year for my youngest, which would be BJU Press Math Work Text. Now I have homeschooled five kids successfully using BJU Press from the beginning when we started homeschooling. And we've done it all the way through high school. Although I have to admit now in my older years with a bunch of teenagers, I am switching to an online curriculum for them in high school just to kind of get that off my plate so I'm not their go-to when they have questions. But I still love BJU Press Math for definitely for K through six, even K through eight, if you're willing to work through that middle school math and pre-algebra with them as well. Totally doable and definitely doable in the elementary years. Now, I will give you an inside peek into the work text, but I first wanna just give you a few little bits of thought to think about and why I really still love this curriculum. So it doesn't take us forever to do math every day. My daughter is not watching an online video. I just don't want her sitting at the computer watching videos. I'd rather just teach her the lesson. It's very easy to just glance because of the way the work text is made. So for example, on this particular day when they're learning about fractions, all the information I need to know is right here at the top of the page and I can easily glance at it, talk her through it, explain it to her if I need to get out some stuff, manipulatives and you know, talk it through her and use a hands-on approach, I can do that. If she totally gets it, we just start working on the page. And then once we get through several of them, she's usually able to finish it on her own. Now, if it's like long division on the front page, I might just have her do the front and be done for the day. Uh, the lesson does go on to the next page, but usually it's just more of the same. So if your child needs practice, have them do both sides of the page. If you you feel like it's overkill for them, just do the front. And so this is just so easy to use. I only buy the work text. I don't worry about videos. Don't worry about the teacher's manual. I don't need a teacher's manual to teach fourth grade math or K anywhere from K through six, because I'm not saying they're teaching her a math lesson. We're talking over the concept, making sure she understands and moving from there. I don't need it to, to see if she got it right. I can easily see if she got the answers right. So I only purchased the work text and it keeps it really affordable. Um, the other question people have about BJU Press Math is whether it's spiral or mastery. And they do like to describe themselves as both, but you have to remember that the mastery comes in from you as the teacher and making sure they don't move on until they've mastered that. So if it takes you an extra day or two to complete a lesson, that's the mastery component in math. And so it's up to you to tailor the speed of how your child goes through the material. The spiral learning comes in because they're always coming back to a topic, right? So they'll start fourth grade and there'll be some addition in there that's kind of where they left off with third grade, you know, maybe adding, um, money so you have a decimal place and you might have to carry your ones and carry your tens and all that so they'll start with where they left off but then they'll keep you know obviously getting harder and harder when they come back to addition in subsequent chapters and that's where you get your spiral learning and they're always coming at the topic again reviewing it but going deeper but the fact that they will come back to each topic several times throughout the year gives you your spiral based approach. Now I wanna show you the inside of this book so you can see it for yourself. Okay, here's the inside of the Math for Work text by BJU Press, and this is the fourth edition. So this is all I buy, like I said, I just buy this. The pages are perforated and we do one lesson every day. You can see from looking at the inside, it's colorful enough, it's well laid out, it's clean looking, it's not overwhelming. There's just enough exercises before moving on to the next you know, aspect or topic or um, concept that they need to work on. Every day's lesson is you know, basically one thing they're working on and the front of the page and the back of the page for that day are generally the same kind of exercises. So if your child doesn't need as much practice, like I said, I, you know, you don't have to have them do the back of the page, but all the instruction you need to teach each lesson, as you can see, is right there on the first page. And then usually, you know, if the kids understand it, they can work on it on their own. So you can see in the boxes at the top of each page that, you know, they give them the instruction, like long division. Here's what we do. We talk through it. And then she would work on the, on the exercises below. 
and then we just keep going. It's just very simple to use. It's what I would consider an open and go curriculum. So it doesn't take a teacher planner book. You don't have to plan a lesson plan. You don't even have to worry about what lesson you're on each day or what page. You know, if we don't get to math one day, it's not the end of the world. We just pick up the next day where we left off. So as you can see, they do all their writing right in the book. They don't need extra paper generally, you know, by the fourth grade. They're writing in their book. Everything's on there. We tear out the page when she's done and save it for her portfolio if we need samples of work for the end of the year. So that is it. It's just really easy to use. It doesn't go over stuff, you know, to the point of tears where it's too much work. And in the end here, if you need a little bit of reference, there's a handbook at the back that explains all the math concepts for that book. And that's it. That's BJU Press Math Work Text for fourth grade.